right, good morning. I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2019 Kinder Elementary D.A.R.E. graduation. Uh, before we get started with today's graduation, we have a high school uh, uh, student that would like to come say a few words. So I'd like to introduce Marissa Witzerman. Okay. Like he said, my name is Marissa Witzerman and I'm actually a graduated senior from Miamisburg High School. I'd like to start by congratulating you on your D.A.R.E. graduation. I myself had the opportunity to graduate from the D.A.R.E. program when I was in fifth grade. The information that you learned through your time with Officer Sheritz will help you as you move on to middle school and high school. Being able to equip yourself with the knowledge to help you make positive decisions in your life about drugs and alcohol will prove to be a valuable tool. In addition to having that knowledge, I recommend surrounding yourself with friends that share your values and passions. Being a part of the bold, building our lives drug free, has allowed me to do that in high school. In addition to having a strong friend group, it has provided me with trusted adults that I can turn to if I have questions or concerns. The members of bold would love to see our club grow so that more students can use what they learn and dare and apply it to their lives. Thank you for your time and good luck in middle school. I'd like to start off by thanking the people who make today responsible, and that's the city of Myersburg, the Myersburg City Schools, and the Myersburg Police Department, because with their support of the D.A.R.E. program, uh, today is possible. I'd also like to thank all the parents and relatives who were able to join us today. I had a great time working with your kids this year. I'm very proud of them, um, and I hope they had a good time, and I hope they learned a few things also over the 10 weeks we had together. Uh, I'd also like to thank the fourth graders who showed up today. Uh, I look forward to seeing you next year in fifth grade D.A.R.E. class. Uh, some of the things we talked about in D.A.R.E. class, we talked about the dangers of alcohol and tobacco. Uh, we talked about making good decisions and how to resist peer pressure. We talked about bullying and how to be a good citizen. We also talked about how to be safe uh, with over-the-counter prescription drugs. The goal is for you guys to take the information we talked about and use it, uh, especially as you guys enter middle school and high school and you encounter some difficult situations. Uh, remember back to some of the things we discussed in D.A.R.E. class. Uh, we have quite a few guests that have come to congratulate you today. Uh, from the city of Miamisburg, we have the mayor, Dick Church. <laughs> from Miamisburg City Council and soon to be mayor, we have Michelle Collins. <laughs> from Miamisburg Municipal Court, we have the judge, Robert Reddick. From Myersburg City Schools, we have the Assistant Superintendent, Steve Homan. And from the Myersburg Police Department, we have Sergeant John Thompson. If you have a guest would like to say a few words, we'll begin with Mayor Church. Good morning. Congratulations on the graduate, being graduates of the D.A.R.E. program. You know, it was 23 years ago that the mayor and city council told our city manager that we wanted to start a D.A.R.E. program here in Miamisburg. 23 years, and Officer uh, Sheritz is the third D.A.R.E. officer we've had during that time. It's one of the best programs that uh, has joint partnership with the city uh, school district, the city of Miamisburg, and I'm even going to include the judge because um, he plays a big part in, in these proceedings because he has to deal with people that don't listen to the, some of the lessons that you've learned in D.A.R.E. I want to Recognize Joe McKenzie from the Miami Valley Communications Council. He's uh, on Channel 5, Cable Channel 5. You'll be able to watch this probably starting next week and many, many times before uh, the next D.A.R.E. graduation here in Miami Spurs at Kendra School. Kendra is one of my favorite schools. It, this is where I started my, uh, uh, got my start in the Miamisburg City School District. 
back in this corner, which is now, I believe, a conference room, was first grade teacher Sue Kearns. And uh, this school has taken a big change uh, since the days that I was there. Um, only the walls are remaining from the school I was in because it was completely gutted and a new section um, uh, built onto. And this really is the school that most people coming in from the east or the west see. And uh, it's a, just a fine example of a great school system. Every year, I tell you, tell the graduates this, you someday, somewhere, are going to be challenged. Someone's going to try to tell you to do something that you know is wrong. In your heart of hearts, you know it's wrong. I hope that you remember the lessons that you have learned in D.A.R.E. and tell that person no. If it's a friend, tell them that they shouldn't be doing it either. But you will be challenged and just remember all those lessons that you've learned. You and I have something in common th this year. Um, you're graduating and I'm gonna be retiring at the end of the year and as Officer Sherrod said, my next, uh, our next mayor is uh, going to be Councilwoman Michelle Collins. She'll take office on January the 1st. And I, I know that she's a big believer in the D.A.R.E. program and uh, so you'll be hearing from her in the future. Today, there's a lot of colds and allergies and everything. We're gonna, we're gonna do something different. Instead of shaking hands when you come up and go through the line, we're gonna fist bump, okay? Because that way, we, we won't get sick and you uh, won't get sick to start your summer vacation. So once again, it's been a pleasure for these 28 years and especially the 23 of the D.A.R.E. program to see it grow like it is. I wish you nothing but success in your future. God bless you. Next we'll have Judge Reddick. I'm a huge supporter of the D.A.R.E. program. First, I want to thank the city, the township, and the school for doing it. It's just a fabulous program. It works. And if you'll remember all the things that you've learned, it will help you later in life. I want to thank the, the parents that are here, the families. You have no idea how much difference it makes when you have people at home that are teaching kids right and wrong. Uh, it's really important. That value system, that strength, just having somebody you can turn to when maybe you have some question or some issue comes up in your life, very, very important. The mayor said you're all going to be, he used the word tried, tempted. There's going to come a time when somebody's going to ask you to do something that you know is wrong. You know that's going to happen, right? Well, you've got to say no. That used to be a, a very popular campaign, just say no, I need you to do that. Don't acquiesce, don't give in because of peer pressure or something you think might be nice. Don't have that first cigarette or that first drink, just say no. You're young, you, the mayor always says, great things are happening in Miamisburg. He's right, they are, they really are. You've been born in a great place to good families with every blessing we have. And if you'll just keep doing what you're doing now, the right thing, you're gonna have a great life. You have every opportunity there is. What can spoil your life and those opportunities are becoming harmfully involved with addictive substances. Smoking, drinking, drugs. We have, I, I'm trying to back off from it, but we really still have a heroin epidemic here. Opiates are horrible. They kill people all the time. Whatever you do, don't ever do heroin.
don't even thinking of, think about doing methamphetamine. I have to incarcerate people for that, and it, it's difficult. We don't have, we have about a 75% success rate with Vivitrol, but that means a fourth of the people I lose. All right, just about. And we work every day at that, and it certainly would help the quality of life here if you would just implement everything that your parents, your family, your siblings, and Officer Doug has taught you in this D.A.R.E. program. You have no idea how well your life could be if you just keep doing that. I'm not going to drone on and on. You have a lot of speakers today. You're going to enjoy a lot of newfound, I'll say responsibilities, freedom. You're going to be in the sixth grade in middle school. As you, as you grow up, you get to do more and more things. There's less supervision. There's less adults telling you what to do. You, be, you become self-actualizing. That means you make your own decisions. And I'm counting on you making really good decisions. I ask people, well, how did you get sucked into this terrible life? And they look at me and shrug their shoulders and they don't have a very good answer. The, I'm gonna get back to what I said before, say no. Hang around with people that say no. Do the right thing, but I'm gonna ask one more thing of you, and that is maybe the person seated to your right or to your left may not take the right path. They may get sidetracked a little bit. Would you be a great friend and maybe lean back or lean over when they make the wrong choice and say, hey Sally, hey John, hey Jimmy, would you please reconsider what you're doing? You don't want to be smoking. You don't want to be drinking. Don't do this. It's a mistake. Maybe you being able to do that might save someone. Well, have a great summer. Next, we have Chief of Police, John Sedlak. Good morning, dear graduates. <laughs> you know, I very seldom hear that last name. I, I kind of like that. That had a good ring to it. Good morning, parents. And thank you for being here today. How many more days, graduates, before you vacation? One? Just one more day? Two if we count today. I tell you what, if you want, show of hands, if you want this, we can extend the D.A.R.E. Grade graduation all the way to Friday, and you can stay for the whole week. You want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> well, I know you liked and enjoyed D.A.R.E., but probably not that much, huh? Probably not that much. I just want to tell you, first of all, congratulations for completing the D.A.R.E. program, for completing fifth grade, getting ready for summer, and then you're going to go on to sixth grade next year. Congratulations on that. And when you think about D.A.R.E. graduation today, you know, a lot of times when you graduate from something, it seems like it's the end, right? Like you did everything. You learned everything, and now I graduate. I get a certificate that says, I passed, I graduate. That seems like it's at the end, you did well. But really, it's the beginning. Because now you have the information that allows you to make the right decisions as you grow, grow, go forward. As you grow bigger, like the judge says, you're gonna get more freedom just like you have to this date. When you were in first grade, you didn't have nearly the range of motion and the freedom that you have now, did you? No. And as you go forward in sixth and seventh and eighth, you're gonna get more and more freedom. And with that freedom, there's gonna be things occurring in your life as you get further away from adult supervision 
that are going to confront you and you will have to be the decision maker, not your teacher, not your parents or grandparents or anybody else in your family. It's going to be you. You're going to be confronted. You're going to be essentially on your two feet all alone and you will have to make the decision. What decision will you make when it comes to good health? When it comes to a bad decision or a good decision? When you're having peer pressure, perhaps, your friends, they're saying, come on, we're all going to do it. What's wrong with you? What are you going to do? And what I want you to do at that time is remember today, this is what today is about. For that moment, for that time, that's what today is all about. And it's then you have to put into practice what you learned in D.A.R.E. from Officer Doug. It does you no good if when that moment comes, you don't apply it. It's very important to apply it and apply it at that time and at that moment. And that's what we want for all of you to do. The other thing, real quickly, I know you talk about it in D.A.R.E., bullying. You know, you grew up, you were born into a household that probably had a computer. You've seen cell phones your whole time of life, smartphones, social media. Probably to some extent you use it. As you get older, you'll use it more. Social media, there's all sorts of bullying. Some you'll experience in person, some you won't. But social media, cyberbullying is horrible because it allows people with distance from you without being right in front of you to say horrible things that they would never have the guts to say in front of your face standing a, a foot or two away from you. And the bad thing about it, it, there's a lot of groups in social media and those groups, they can all jump in. So before you know it, it seems like the whole world is just piling on you and just saying some horrible things. Well, I want you to know that can stop very quickly. And the sooner you do something to stop it, the sooner it will and the more chance you'll have at stopping it. The worst thing you can do is to be concerned. You don't want to say anything to a parent. You don't want anybody else to know. You don't want to tell your teacher. You don't want to be a snitch. That's the worst thing you could do. Because the best thing is to tell an adult, your parent, your grandparent, a teacher, a school administrator, Officer Doug, another police officer. Because once you do that, they can make it stop very quickly. One day. One day it's over. No more hassle. And that's what you want. We've seen cyberbullying get way out of, way out of control. And the reason is because the victim stays silent for too long. I'm encouraging you, if it happens to you, as soon as it starts happening, say something so that you don't have to put up with that stuff, okay? And with that, I want you to have a great summer and a great sixth grade next year. Good luck, and we'll see you then. And next we have Mr. Home. Right. Good morning and congratulations on your D.A.R.E. graduation and finishing up um, your fifth grade year at Kinder. You've heard from um, all of our speakers today about things to do, what to do. One of the things I just want to focus on um, briefly is the support that is out there. And even the support, you know, after you leave Kinder here. You know through the D.A.R.E. program you've talked about making those choices and at some point you're going to be asked to do something that you know is not correct. And it's going to be hard to make that, that choice and decision. But one of the things that I kind of tell graduates every year in the D.A.R.E. program is Miamisburg is a very hometown community and everyone cares about our schools and our community. 
And a lot of you have been through kinder all the way through kindergarten here, and you know kinder has a outstanding staff here. And you know every member of this school would do anything and everything for you to make sure that you're successful in life down the road. And that's one of the things that I want you to remember is, when you go to the middle school in your sixth grade year, you're getting to know new teachers, new staff, new friends over there. But you also need to remember that you have a kinder family here, okay? And one of the things you have to remember is, if you're not comfortable going to the middle school, not really knowing who you could talk to, but you know something's not right, use your Google Gmail account. Email Mr. Saylor. Email one of your teachers here. Um, a lot of you know Officer Copsey, and we have a new resource officer, Officer Rankins, at the middle school. Parents, you can email them directly too as well. If you think something's not right or you hear something, email Officer Rankins at the middle school, Officer Copsey from the city. We're all here for the same purpose. We want to make sure our kids are safe um, every day here. And so, uh, boys and girls, remember that. It's a kinder family here. They're always going to be your family here. And so if something's not right, even if it doesn't have to deal with drugs or alcohol or something's just not good, email one of your teachers here, and they would do anything to help you along the way. Okay, so remember that. Also remember, all these parents that are here today to support all of you as you go through middle school and high school, um, they're your first line of support. Your parents would do anything for you. Your grandparents would do anything for you. So don't forget even those tough conversations that you're like, oh, man, I am going to get busted if they know I know this or I did something. You know, you might get in trouble, but you know what? They're there to help you. They love you, they support you, and all those things, just like your kinder family here does. So take advantage of all those resources out there. Remember, you'll always be a kinder student. You're always a proud member of the Miamisburg School and we're very glad that you're graduating from Deer today. Have a great summer. One of the last things the students do in Dare class is not only do they have to write a Dare report, but they have to present it to their classmates. Um, we've selected a few to read their reports today, and we will begin with Alana Wright. Elena Wright, sorry. <laughs> My name is Elena Wright. This year, Officer Doug Sheriff taught us about a program called DARE. DARE is, means abuse, I mean, drug abuse resistance education. I'm going to tell you about DARE and what the letters of DARE mean. The D in DARE means drug. Drugs are kind of like a medicine, but way worse because they are illegal and bad and can do bad things like messing up your brain and making you sick. Some that are legal, like medicine, can still do bad things if you don't take them correctly and can kill you because it's bad for you. Most people that do drugs die from it. The A in dare means abuse. Abuse is like bullying. Also, abuse is when you threaten somebody or put your hands on someone. If you do this, it could go on your scholarship and affect you from graduating from college. Don't bully or abuse somebody so you can graduate high school and college. The R in dare means resistance. Resistance means to avoid certain things. You should resist drugs, tobacco, smoking, and alcohol. The E in DARE stands for education. Education means learning. DARE is an educational program. There are lots of programs and schools that help you become smarter than you already are. DARE was a fun program to do because of Officer Doug. Thank you, Officer Doug, for doing this program and teaching us all about DARE. Next, we have Gracie Mavis. My dare officer, Doug Sheriff, taught me a lot this year, and I'm going to tell you some of it. People wonder what the meaning of dare is. It is drug abuse resistant education. It can also stand for define, assess, respond, and evaluate. I'm going to tell you what second, now what the second meaning stands for. Define means what is your problem. Assess means what are you, what are your choices. Respond means make a choice. Evaluate means review your decision and did you make a good choice. 
This is about the five W's. The first one stands for who is being bullied. Second, what happened. Third, when did it happen. Fourth, where did it happen. Fifth, why did it happen. So if you are telling an adult, remember these strategies, this is all the information they need to know to figure it out. This paragraph is about resistance strategies. First, try to avoid the situation. If you know of places where people do use drugs and smoke, stay away from those places. Second, strengthen numbers hang around with people that don't use drugs. Third, fifth, third, just walk away. Fourth, saying no while giving a reason or, or a excuse. Fifth, changing the subject. This is about alcohol facts. First, you should never do it, but if you decide to do it, I'll tell you some of the consequences if you do. First, you will have bad liver problems. Second, you will have memory loss. Third, it's just bad for your whole body, and it will affect everything. Your breath will smell bad, and it's bad for your teeth. Alcohol goes straight to the bloodstream and can damage every organ in your body and will give you poor judgment. This is about tobacco of facts. In the United States, it is illegal to sell tobacco products to kids under 18. Cigarettes contain nicotine, a powerful addictive substance. Almost 50,000 deaths per year can be attributed to secondhand smoke. Smokers get more colds and upper respiratory problems. This is about who you should ask for help. You should talk to someone you trust. I would prefer one of your family members, like your dad, mom, cousins, grandparents, or your uncle. I'm so glad that I got to learn all this cool stuff that will help me out in life, and I got to share it with you guys. Next, next year, you get to do all this. Next, we have Jada Bolt. My dear officer, Doug Sheritz, has done an awesome job teaching us some awesome facts about how to stay safe and make good choices when it comes to responsibility. The five W's are a curriculum of resources that you can use to report bullying. The five W's are who, what, when, where, and why. A description of the body and the looks of the students will help find the student that was bullied or the student that was bullying. This will take up the who section. When and what are next in line? What happened and what time? For example, most likely at 1230. This is a resource adults can use to look this up on camera. Where is up to the plate? Where is the issue? Where is the place that the issue took place. For example, on the far left side of the library, most places like school have cameras in almost all the rooms. Finally, why did this happen? What started the fight? What the, this can help the adults um, decide if this has anything to do with stress, anger, or other personal problems. Next, Doug taught us some awesome facts about alcohol and tobacco. Kids under age 21 cannot, and I repeat, cannot drink alcohol. I believe if I believe that it is because your body never stops improving and is always making changes. Any wrong use of it could affect your changes and still, changes still forming and could kill you. Tobacco is kind of like the same thing. Chewing could cause gum cancer, yellow teeth, and more. You have to be 18 to use this. Tobacco is grown in farms, and sometimes if you have your windows down and you drive by a farm, you can smell it. Finally, I thank you, Doug, for assisting us through the path to making right choices. I really think I've been influenced into good decision making. Next, we have Elena Collinsworth. Hi, I'm Elena Collinsworth, and this year, Officer Doug Sheritz taught us many things and strategies in D.A.R.E. class. These strategies are life skills, so listen up. Hey, did you know? Did you know that DARE stands for Drug Abuse Resistance Education and or define, assess, respond, evaluate, which means define a situation, challenge, or opportunity, assess what are your choices, respond, make a choice, then use the info you've gathered. That's where the last step comes into play. Evaluate. Did you make a good choice? Here 
are some interesting facts about alcohol and tobacco. First, let's start with alcohol. Alcohol is illegal to anyone under the age of 21. Or that mixing alcohol with medicine is dangerous. Also, most teens don't drink because their bodies are still growing. By the way, drinking can resolve in memory loss, poor judgment, and a lot more health factors. Now, let's get into tobacco. Tobacco is very bad and, and is illegal to anyone under the age of 18. Also, there are many bad chemicals in tobacco. Cigarettes have nicotine, which is bad and addictive. More than 400,000 Americans die because of tobacco-related events, and back tobacco causes heart, lungs, kidney, and liver problems. By the way, you will have yellow teeth and smelly breath. Officer Doug also taught us the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. Who is getting bullied, what happened, when did it happen, where did it happen, and why did it happen. The reason is being more specific can help adults solve the situation fast. Now let's get into over-the-counter medicine and prescription medicine. Did you know that the only person that can take prescription medicine is the person's name that's on the bottle, or it's illegal. But if, it, but if it's a medicine that you can walk in and buy, anyone can take it. As you can see, that's some of the things you learn in D.A.R.E. And it's very important for life. Next, we have Luann Wynn. In my D.A.R.E. class, I learned many ways to handle different situations so I could stay safe. It is quite safe and very cool. In my D.A.R.E. class, I learned many ways to handle different situations so I can stay safe. It is quite safe and is very cool and as well as educational. Well, first, I just wanted to say that D.A.R.E. class helped me handle bullying. First, D.A.R.E. taught me the difference between telling and tattling. It also taught me the five W's, when, where, why, who, what. It also taught me how to report bullying by being specific as possible about these things. Next, I have the knowledge to avoid peer pressure and turn to people for help through my help network. My help network allows me to organize the people I turn, turn to for help when I need it, of course. It also allows me to avoid peer pressure by going to the right place at the right time. I think the help network is a really nice and organized way of people who can help you and where places you should go. I also know that I also know what to do, not do and what to not take because of dare. Tobacco and alcohol are both very bad substances. I know to not take them because they warned me about the health effects and very bad addiction to that stuff. I would like to thank Dare for doing this because it helped me to stay healthy and, a good, and be a good citizen and overall have a really good life to live. I am glad I had Dare because if I didn't have Dare, I would not be living as an adult anytime soon. Now I, now I know how to be a good citizen because of Dare. Next, we have Lima Morel. Dare is an awesome way to learn how to resist drugs and violence. We learned how to use tools and sources to help us through our problems. The Dare Decision Making Model, the DDMM, is a good example of a tool or source. It explains how to take care of your problems and how to evaluate the situation using the Dare method. Define, assess, respond, and evaluate. The DDMM is very effective in many ways. In the past 10 weeks, we have learned so much, and now it's my turn to share the information with you. In D.A.R.E., we learned how alcohol and tobacco damage our bodies. Alcohol is very bad for the human body. It causes more than 75,000 deaths per year. Alcohol weakens the heart muscle and decreases the amount of blood that is pumped to the heart. Tobacco is just as bad as alcohol, if not worse. Tobacco causes more than 400,000 people to die in a year due to smoking. 
Tobacco can cause many health problems such as mouth cancer, heart disease, and lung cancer. Both alcohol and tobacco are very, very hurtful to the human body. Bullying is a very serious problem all around the world. In D.A.R.E., we learned about how to deal with bullying by using the five W's of reporting bullying. The first W is who is being bullied and who is the bully. The second W is what happened, what did they do? The third W is when did it happen? What time did it happen? Lunch or recess? The next W is where did it happen, in the gym or outside? The final W is why did it happen? Sometimes we don't know why it ha happened, but it's good information to have. The five W's are a great way to reporting bullying safely. In D.A.R.E., we learned about our help network and how everybody has a different help network. In D.A.R.E., we learned that a help network is a group of people or, or trusted adults, such as the people in your family, your friends, and teachers and staff at your school. My help network consists of my parents, my friends, my teachers, and other trusted adults. Yours might look a little different than mine, but we all have different point of views. A help network is very effective, and I think that everyone should have one to help them through tough times. In conclusion, I have learned so much during a 10 weeks of D.A.R.E. I have learned how to report bullying and about our help networks, the DDMM, and what alcohol and tobacco does to your body. D.A.R.E. was an amazing experience to go through. I would love to do it all again. Thank you, Officer Doug, for teaching all of fifth grade D.A.R.E. You made this year awesome. All the students did a great job on their reports, and those are just a few examples of that. Uh, the last group of people I'd like to thank are the ones that make my job as the D.A.R.E. officer very easy, and that's the staff here at Kinder Elementary, and that begins with your principal, Mr. Saylor. <laughs> and your fifth grade teacher, Ms. Bauman. <laughs> Ms. Pelfrey. <laughs> and Mr. O'Neill. It's now time for you guys to receive your certificates, and we'll get, begin with Mr. O'Neill's class. And I'd just like to quickly mention that we had the privilege this year of nominating Officer Doug for National Dare Officer Award. We don't know the results of that until the summertime, but we wrote a letter just of what a great teacher he is, wonderful role model, and we just love him every time you show up kids are so excited to have dare every Tuesday so we, we're, we're pulling for you <laughs> and uh, Thank you. they all signed a, a page so all their signatures went in and That's thank yeah you. thank you this 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 is for officer Doug right here, right here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. all right so I have Nathan Brown oh Nathan Brown Come on down. <laughs> and Bryson Edwards. Dakota Yuri. Brooklyn Gavani. Brianna Grimm. Nakia Haynes. Thank you. Noah Kratzer. DJ Lacking. Grace Mathis. <laughs> Alexis Mabeng. Brent Moe. Dara Patel, <laughs> Leo Penrod, <laughs> Lexi Phillips, <laughs> Colin Sunny, <laughs> Mark Tyree. Jemiah Usher, Orion Wisman, 
Elena Wright. And Blake Zellers. Let's clap for my home room right here. Let's have Miss Boffins clap. All right, Brent Aldridge. Johnny Asher. Ayana Dillard Cook. <laughs> Didn't want to say right. Bella Dominguez Cando. Quinn Godfrey. Kaden Grimm. Olivia Hampton. Ariana Jacob. Delaney Jones. James Lawson. Presley Mason. Morgan McElfresh. Lemma Moriab. Sean Murphy. Luann Nguyen. Aiden O'Hare. Rosie Richardson. Colton Wall. Ollie Wisman. And Jordan Fisher. Thank you. Thank you. And Mrs. Pelford's class. So really quickly, I want to reiterate what Mr. Homan said. Um, just with the fact that boys and girls, that your kinder family, I better not cry, um, is your kinder family still. Many of you I had in second grade, it has been a pleasure to watch you grow. Um, and it will be a pleasure to watch you to continue to grow. And we are here for you. We really do mean that. You can come back um, and talk with us. You can email us, as Mr. Homan said. I have many students that still email me and come back and see me. And so we really do mean that. So even if you, know, you start to have a hard time later on, we're here for you. We mean that, OK? All right. All right, Jada Bowles. Gabby Kane. Dalton Carpenter. Brooklyn Cockerham. Elena Collinsworth. Cody Dunn. Cameron Faber. Preston Finster. Camilla Jones. Woo! 
Bailey Knight, and I don't think he's shown up yet, right? Still not here. Addison Lieber. Keith Long. <clears throat> Alex Markland. Elise Markland. Lainey McDaniel. Rumor Pesic. Madison Spees, <laughs> Seth Summers, <laughs> Ian Walker, <laughs> and Riley Weiss. All right, the last thing we'll do as part of our D.A.R.E. graduation is I have a short little video to, to show you of D.A.R.E. classes.
Once again, I appreciate everyone coming out this morning. Uh, we had a great time this year. Have a great summer. Be safe. And I look forward to seeing you all again next year. Thank you.